he he didn't have to he wasn't um so severe that he couldn't do anything so there were that first 24 hours he had to just basically sleep which was fine um and you know i think he he just kind of embraced that and did but then that you know next day or two was um i think what was probably helpful for him was just being able to listen to music um kids he wasn't really supposed to watch tv so he listened to music and just sort of um i think he listened to podcasts or something too but uh that i think sort of helped him um and yeah that's i would say that was the main thing that and just sleeping you know because he, he was bored um and the hardest part for him i think was when he was allowed to go back to school um and it wasn't a very long time that he had to be out but um he you know wasn't supposed to i think he wasn't supposed to use i can't remember it's been a little while but um i think he couldn't use a computer or maybe he was i don't remember what it was but yeah he couldn't use his computer so he just kind of had to be present in class and not take notes not use his computer and that stressed him out because he's like i'm gonna be so even more behind you know even though he's hearing the information but he wasn't supposed to be doing much i think that was how it worked um so i think that actually stressed him out but um but then you know once he got back to everything the teachers were good they were very supportive and getting him caught up and 